But there you go, we've got vampires. <laughs> I guess at least they don't have Hypnotic Gaze this match, really. Because Snotlings don't have the... Uh, sorry, not Snotlings. Um, Noblars don't exert minuses from their tackle zones. So, he's 1-1-1. One, one, one. And might be able to hurt the Thralls. So he's got dodge. Oh, could buy, a could buy a wizard. Could buy a wizard. E Broham Lincoln. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Bro Sidon is brilliant. That's a good idea, Jam Toast. Um, could get a wizard, eh? Oh no, I want to save up for. I want to save up for a reroll. So yeah, just get a babe. Could get a merc. A merc nobbler. Oh, no, babe's better, probably. Yeah, I'm actually saving up for a reroll. <laughs> I know it's a fucking crazy idea. I know it's a fucking crazy idea. Bronan the Barbarian. Rocky <laughs> Balbro. Yeah, that's a good idea. Very good idea. What do I want to do? Receive and hopefully bang on him. Yeah. Because there might be a concession as well, might there in open. So, I think you've got to concede. You've got to receive with ogres in open. Just to, just to get four blocks. And, uh, and maybe get a concession. That's a good point. Right. I guess actually seeing as they've got Agility 4, it might be better. Oh, he's got Break Tackle. He can be the ball carrier. Ah. Break Tackle's really good for the ball carrier. But on the other hand, I'd like to skill up a different Ogre, wouldn't I? <laughs> Best of luck, good friend. <laughs> it's definitely what it stands for. 100%. Apparently they are. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay, he can't do much though. No matter where he goes, he's getting spanked by ogres. It is less three dices though. Oh, harder three dices. Yeah, they're like Mr. Blobby. They're like Blobby. Mr. Blobby Ogres. Could play could play a fumble view look. Ish. Oh, I can't I can't even play like that. Crazy, yeah. Right, so it gives us a three dice to start with. I shouldn't have gone straight forward, should I? I should have gone for a diagonal one in case I got a push, but didn't care. You could two dice blitz. Ball's pretty safe. Oh, fuck it, he can just two dice there. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't want a GFI. He can try and block him. Five star player point thrall on the LOS. Not a good idea.
Uh huh. <laughs> Not ideal. <laughs> Mr. Bluffy Sean in your childhood. <laughs> oh, VIP Sean, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Blobby, he was scary, wasn't he? He was really fucking scary. Chilling. Augus is so OP. Did nothing against Armor 7. Did you not did you not see Mr. Blobby? Uh, how could you how could you see him and not be terrified? Yeah, when you had goblins and up to 12. The good thing is, this guy is... <laughs> Not all Edmunds amplified the fear. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, when they had up to 12 ogres and stuff and uh, and goblins, yeah. Man, look at that. <laughs> 100, 110k player. Getting removed from the tackles on of a 20k player. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah, they had 12 orgs in the old days. Which is pretty good. And like on Fumble they limited them to 8 or something, which was still really good. Right, I got a cage. So that's a cage for the Broger. He can block him into there. He can blitz the vamp. He can pierce him. Uh he might as well dodge, I guess. Saves the bonehead. No need to activate him. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right, it's broker time. Uh, no, I, d I didn't care which, which heads I took. To be honest, I just took random. I just bought six ogres. Uh, they are, they're, they're slightly more than 1k because they've got a uh, break tackle on somebody. And a fan factor for winning. He's elf screened correctly, obviously, on the uh, Canorvids. Oh, man. Yeah, the fan factor blow is the worst thing. To be honest, it really is. Because ogres are best 
when there are a thousand TV with no rerolls and no skills facing other thousand TV teams. But once they get their first reroll, and now they're seventy more, and they're playing people with more block and more tackle and more mighty blow, and it's just it's just harder and harder and harder. I went three three two in black box with my first eight games, which I was pretty happy about. And then the next eight games, I went one one six because I had too many skills and stuff. And I don't know if I had one or two rerolls, but I, th- I think I had two rerolls and I sacked it because the bloat was too much. Seventy k rerolls, brutal. He hasn't failed a bloodlust yet, has he? Just quietly. Fouling an ogre. Fair enough. I mean, although I've got armor 9 and thick skull, it's just a shithead thrall, isn't it? It's not the worst idea. Mm hmm. So, want two assists on the block, on the blitz even. And then move these in case it doesn't work. Yes, KO. Yeah, you gotta keep them as low as as low as possible. But even twelve hundred, you know, you could be playing you could be you're just much more likely to be playing against Tackle and Mighty Blow even at twelve hundred than you are at a thousand, aren't you? So it's definitely tough the more games they play. Which is why it's so it's so stupid that halflings and uh, halflings and goblins get this matchmaking penalty because you know every TV your opponent gets is just more mighty blow, more tackle, more block. Thank God he hasn't got any block. I mean, that's the that's the good thing about vampires, isn't it? They don't have any block, so this this must be the right square because it still keeps him in contact. I guess you can base the ogre, but base the ball. No, no one's, no one's responded in Champs Ladder to my orc thrower comment. Boo. Yeah, exactly, Shawnee. Yeah, you've got to keep them around seven hundred. Whereas if they didn't have that matchmaking penalty, you could have like, you know, you could have got skill ups for them and stuff. He still hasn't failed a bloodlust, just quietly. Oh man. F fail the fail the bone and then get fouled out. Fucking shit in it. Fucking ogres, they're so bad. Outbashed by outbashed by fucking vampires. What the fuck? Well, I'll mark your words, but I don't believe them blob skills. I don't believe you will. Yeah, he's failed a bloodlust, finally. Ninth one. Activated a vamp every single turn. Every turn he's activated all three vamps. Finally fails one.
<laughs> That's pretty funny. One, two, three, four. If he blitzes. I'd rather he goes there. So I guess he's got a blitz. Got a pal though. Of course not. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, plus our strings are pretty good, aren't they? <coughs> Lodge pro trees, yeah, it'd be pretty good. I really don't like carrying with the ogre to be honest because he can't dodge at all instead of dodging on two pluses with a reroll and uh, you can't throw him either Wee! Wee! Time for the patented Jimmy first move of run forward with a ball Yes Or rib cracker. It's great to be streaming Blood Bowl again, despite the uh, the bit of a layoff. I guess he wants to blitz first because then at least if it's a bolt down or a turnover, if it was a turnover, that guy would still be standing, wasn't it? That was my rationale. Maybe I should have dodged out this this snotling first. No glove skills. The the only teams that are out on tabletop is uh is humans, orcs, dwarves and skaven. Guess I should have got him up and dodged him out. It's gonna foul the snotling. Wow, that's idiotic. That's really fucking idiotic. I gave him a free pass with fouling ogres, but <laughs> when I've got three reserve snotlings, like you know, if he kills a if he kills an ogre, it's worth it, isn't it? Even Kaolian ogre, though it's unlikely. But that was that was just stupid as oh god, he got the bonehead. You shitting me? Are you fucking shitting me, game? Knocked somebody down. Time to file the bug report. There's no point in him being there, is there? So he could go here to make uh, make things a little bit trickier. And same kind of thing with him there. Oh, great. Yeah, enjoying it again after the after the horrible after the horrible grind of Champs Ladder. But I think Champs Ladder won't be as grindy next this this coming season with her being the wild cards. I think the wild cards will will vastly improve Champs Ladder. And obviously with the NAF ladder, 
Um, and in enough tournaments, there'll be much better ways to play Blood Bowl. Not ju- it won't just have to be champs ladder grind all the time. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty positive about Blood Bowl right now. Unbelievably. That's really shit, though, isn't it? Carrying with an ogre, I don't like it, but I just thought it's so easy for him to, uh, with like gears as well, as well as like you know, what's it called? Noblars being shit. Yeah, that's true, and people will play them because they'll want to, you know, they will qualify. I know it's crazy, isn't it? It's fucking crazy, but I mean, I had that time off, which was good. Yeah, you've got to like, you've got to, like, it's, it's diff, this is different anyway because it's fucking ogres and he's strength five, isn't he? But against, you've got to have like a cage and then like a, a screen in front of it, basically. It's not easy. And just think about, you know, what'll happen, what'll happen if he's, uh, if each particular one gets gazed and stuff. But yeah, it's definitely not easy. Yeah, vampires bash themselves more. He's he's been idiotic for one Kaz and um, bit himself for another Kaz. Fucking hell. Nah, Sin Dens, nah. Just, just kept everything the same. Because, just because, I mean, I guess they're frightened to change anything because tabletop is tabletop, isn't it? Yeah, I am still, I'm still a citizen in the UK, but I'm, I can be positive about some things. It's unbelievable. Like, like some Germans can be inefficient. Did he feel bloodlust? Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, it's much better that Cyanide don't buff anything or like, you know, make any balance tweaks because, because, you know, they just don't know what they're doing, so. make a few dodges here. These guys might as well stand up. Oh, he could have stood there. Shit. Oh, that's probably better anyway. He can make a GFI at the end. So. Alright, Blitz. Got him. Knocked over by a snotling. Ah, shit, con. Got him. Hello, Dorado444. Four, four. <laughs> German is being inefficient. That means he's trying... Inefficient he's means he's trying to be funny. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Titchy means that every dodge they make is a 2+. Plus. Well, that's, actually not, that's not true. That's actually not true. But... Seeing as Snotlings are the only team with Titchy, it makes all of their dodges a two plus, and it makes them easy to injure as well, like uh, like Stunties. Zombie Hater. Yeah, zombies are zombies are pretty good, aren't they? They're like, they're like zombies. They're like shambling zombies, aren't they? It's all right. They're, they're all okay for like Walking Dead zombies. Um, if they were like if they were like twenty eight days later zombies, they'd be pretty overpowered, wouldn't they?
It's great that he's beating himself up. A snot dodging from a snot is 2+. plus. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready, Hippie. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I would have scored on turn 7 if I could have done. But obviously the bone had happened earlier, didn't it? I am the best Dorado 4444. Four, four, four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm fantastic. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. Um, I, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Aviate human catches. I guess it's okay. It's, it's online, isn't it? So it's limited by the client. It is what it is. Oh, thanks, table leg. He's casting himself again. <laughs> like South Cleveland garages. Simply the best. Nobody gets that, do they? Nobody gets that on, um, on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very true, table leg. Um, that's true. It, actually, Dorado 4444444, what you want to do is. Go to jimmyfantastic.com, um, which isn't isn't some scam site. It links to my YouTube video, which is an intro game I did with a very good uh, a very good Australian man, um, and that's that's got everything you. That's a great intro game. So yeah, that is that is a great place to start. Is is that place? He's just gonna go off now because it's the last turn, isn't it? He's just realised he probably shouldn't have cast his own guy last last turn. <laughs> um, <laughs> most positive and enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, what can I do then? Make a three dice block. Nah. Just try the two plus. Let's go. Made it. Yes. Yes. Touchdown with Ogres. Oh man. Oh man. Both KOs back. Outrageous. I didn't even foul. I should, probably should have fouled at some point in that drive. But I could really only have done it turn 7. Because it's you could easily make 3 cars this turn anyway. It wouldn't even be surprising. Yeah, I should have made Orc cheerleaders on this team. I had Orc cheerleaders on, on another team, didn't I? Yeah, I will change them after this game. It's just it might be a while before we see another Ogre touchdown. That's the only, that's the only thing. That's the only issue. Is it could take a while to see another touchdown. The celebration from the Ogre was shit, wasn't it? A bit sad about that. Definitely, yeah, definitely need to save this as a setup because I'll often end up. Scoring on turn eight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, Vamps do get a bloodless chain, except it's much worse. But I mean, he didn't need to activate anybody that turn. He wasn't doing anything. He didn't need to activate his Vamps. He's activated his Vamps too much this game. In my opinion. Oh man, if his kills don't come back. Hey. Like, he shouldn't even be blocking with vampires here, is there? There's no reason to.
I guess maybe you get star player points on them, but you know, if you're trying to win a game, you should just be hitting with thralls. I guess even if you make three cars, it doesn't affect anything. So maybe you should, uh, maybe you should pit with the with the uh, vamps. I guess maybe he's right. I don't know. Didn't even kill two snotlings. Amazing. All right. Please, please have his kill stay on. Oh, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> what a dumb team this is. Five, six, seven, eight. Mm. I need I need the break tackle as a safety. They, if they get pushed, then they keep the side. And obviously, he can gaze anything he wants anyway. Maybe we should put three ogres on the LOS. These right behind them. Then that just denies him the LOS, doesn't it? Completely, completely denies him the LOS. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is, Eric Beheimer, he wouldn't get additional blocks then, would he? That's the thing. So, if he if he blocks with the uh, thralls, he gets three blocks guaranteed or four blocks guaranteed. If he blocks with the vamps, he could roll a one and then have to run off. So, I don't think it was as good. But the fact that I've got three reserves, it didn't matter if he cast them all. So yeah, he probably was right to hit with the with the with the vamps. Because he was only hitting for star player points, not really for a man advantage. So there you go. Oh, you got the power. Lucky dingo. A strength for agility five underworld blitzer. That's crazy. Yeah, I would probably just leave my edge for. Well, I probably wouldn't have taken the edge in the first place. Oh, look at this one dice pal, fuck off. Hello, Cyberfunk. Oh, wow, he wants to get a guy served. Sweet. Oh, look at that, two one dice pals. What an asshole. Wow, no boneheads. 
Unbelievable, Jeff. A lot better recently. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for asking. A lot better recently. Um, he could dodge and go there. Right, split here. Alright, no surf then. I don't care so much. I think, yeah, I think the new teams, the new slots for champs ladder qualifiers, I think is really good. Um, and the mixed race teams are kind of interesting. But I'm just m mostly excited by the NAF format. That's the thing. Yeah, Edge 5 is good, obviously. I mean... Wow, he had to get a power there, didn't he? Lucky dingo. Maybe I should have tried to move that ogre across a couple of squares. Because he, was, he wasn't going to be able to potato this side, was he? Um, it's res, so people... There you go. People don't die, and people don't skill up. Um, so you can always have fair games all the time. AI is exactly the same. People are like, people are saying that they've totally lied about improved AI. <laughs> so um, obviously I can't judge that, but that's what they say. That's what they tell me. Base random half half halfling, snotling. Oh yeah, they have they have AI for the individual teams, don't they? Like that's the craziest thing ever. Okay, can he score next turn? Yeah, but not if I push him. So I probably want him back. As a safety. He could block him, then he could stand up. He's good there. He can recover. I have to push him back that way, don't I? Otherwise he could blitz, blitz free off the snotling. Um... Right, I don't really risk the second two dice block until he's recovered. Don't want to risk him failing, though. I think he just has to stand up, and he just has to activate. And... Oh, he could have break tackled one, two, three, four, five, uh, somewhere. What's his play here? Dodge through. Can't score though. Gay somebody. So he wants to block to tag that vamp. And he wants to block, because why not? And him tying up a Thrall is probably a good use of a Snotling, isn't it?
Hello, Valena. Yeah, it's it's awful, isn't it? The AI. I mean, the AI is really terrible. There was a game, wasn't it, when I played against the uh, against the against the Camry, where it picked it up with a rookie skeleton instead of the instead of the sure hands thrower. So yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not the smartest uh, AI. Yeah, V seven is invincible. This is a pretty tough situation for him, really, isn't it? <laughs> he rolled a one. Oh, maybe not. It was a three plus touch. Fucking mad cunt. Alright. One, two, three, four. So it, five, six, seven, eight. Can't get three dice. Better to fail with him than him. Ah, but then he wouldn't be served, so it's got to be him. So he's got to go in first. So that if it's a, uh, if he goes stupid, and he's got to stand up, in case he goes stupid. Good. Oh my God! Get out of town. He can pick up the ball at the end of the turn. Um, he wants to get blitzed, doesn't he? I guess if he bases him, that's all right. Nearly two dice in there. He could go there and screen, couldn't he? I don't hate it. Oh, fuck me. Misclick. Well, it's not even... Well, okay, it technically is a misclick. But fucking hell, that's so annoying. The, uh... You click on a guy, but you click on his thing. Alright, fuck it. Good, two tackles on. Maybe that's Skynet. <laughs> the sure hand stuff, yeah, sure, but it was like... It was really bad though, wasn't it? Ah, oh, shit. It is open ladder, yeah, fluffy burrito. Hello. I didn't do that dodge. I should have done that dodge. But after I moved him there, I didn't, couldn't do the dodge. It's not... It wouldn't matter, though, would it? That misclick just wouldn't matter. Oh, I should have gone there, maybe. I'll probably die anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't stop that one where you click on the fucking player, but you click on his thing instead. It's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah, but it doesn't matter though, because it's still I'd still just click. Does right click not work on that? I still think it would be just the same. Wow, really? Andy Von Cook, that's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. 
Right. Um, so he wants to go in there. These aren't in tackle zone, so you can push him into another block. He wants to get central. He wants to keep him on the ground. They want to keep their tackle zones. I guess he should go and try and pick it up. Then there's more ogres near the ball. terrible. That is really terrible. That's so bad, isn't it? Is that is that being reported? I don't know. That's a, that's a that's a good bug report though. Have you reported it on the forums? This is a different Oh no it's not it's not it's not my um This is uh, this is the no, obviously not the not this thread, but that's the that's the forum. Uh, you should report that bug. That's terrible. Yeah, good thing they nerfed Noble Arts. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, exactly. It's not a misclick. It's a miss... fucking command, isn't it? It's really annoying. Right. So everyone's in the right place, really. So just move him in for the blitz. Yeah, exactly. You think you have somebody else selected when you don't. Yeah, so... It, it doesn't really matter. And there's no... I don't see any way to kind of fix that. Again, so bring in the guy furthest away, so that if he goes bonehead, it's not so bad. Man, how many times can I fail pickups for this team? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Stop failing pickups, shitheads. Noblar's doing a great job of getting punched. Do you know what? I would have considered it if I'd got first... Nah, first double's got to be block, hasn't it? Oh, maybe I should have gone here to trap the thrall in. Oh god. <laughs> They've just eaten 12 dice and not been knocked over. That's amazing, isn't it? I mean, to be fair, this was a, this was a great team to have to face. No block at all on his team. It doesn't get much better than that as Ogres. <laughs> Bang on. Hello, Inarian. Ah, good. I guess I could try a, a Noblar pick up and then throw him. Seeing as I'm running out of time. Oh, 
Oh shit. Okay, I can't try and I'll pick up. Um but that's okay. I mean everyone everyone was where they should be. So it's alright. Still time to lose this game, isn't there? Really hope he doesn't kill this snot now. There is always enough time for you to lose the game, Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Not always, but yeah, in this situation it's very possible, isn't it? Right. So the nobler goes for the ball and then gets thrown. That's the play. He doesn't activate because he's got tackle zones and everything. He stands up, I guess. No, he doesn't. He could blitz. Try and make it a bit safer. Gets the pow. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> now I get a stamp on the thrall too. Excellent. Oh my god, what a turn that was. <laughs> Fucking ogres, man. <laughs> Imagine if he didn't have rerolls then and he just triple scold on a snotling. Said he leveled up. But uh thank you. Pretty pretty proud even against even against vampires with no block, it's still good to win with ogres, isn't it? Two nil with ogres. Even in open even in open against vampires. <laughs> He's in. <laughs> Zitty Metal Scream, what a great name. <laughs> They're obsessed with like goblin ass, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> cyanide. <laughs> for some reason <laughs> they're always zooming in on the asses of goblins and trolls and snotlings and stuff um yeah 20 <laughs> and there's nothing even they can take I guess diamond tackle yeah diamond tackle is the only thing they can take 
I hate that because you don't see an animation, and it's like you wonder even if it even if it has rerolled, don't you? Pretty annoying. Six armor breaks, with a team of mighty blow. Just just loudly. But uh, boneheads, pretty good. Eighty two. Bloodlust's pretty bad. Seventy six. He he passed loads as well at start at the start. I was pretty sad. When he uh, passed all of them at the start. Made every gaze. <laughs> Two out of six pickups. Um, there you go. Pretty good. Ah, yeah, sure, if he can sprint, yeah. Fair enough. But still, you you don't want to pay 20k for it, do you? Right, reroll. Yes. Success. Success. <laughs> Tempted to revive champ ladder or throw a stop. Oh yeah, other than humans, right, yeah, I'll change it on here. To orcs. Now of course, changing it's the easy part. Scoring a touchdown with orcs is the uh is the hard part. But um there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.